Hi, my friends, I'm Maxime, and today we're working with a, with a very interesting card. The card of today is number 12, the Hanging Man. The Hanging Man. I'm sorry, I have a hard time saying the word. Anyway, so this card has been always very interesting to me, and at the beginning, when I started learning uh, tarot, um, I had a difficult time understanding this concept. And so it took a little while, and at this point in time, I really sort of liked the concept of this card. But when I saw this card in this particular deck, it helped me get it. It helped me it helped me sort of get the concept and other areas of the same concept. It's a little bit complicated to explain, but anyway, it sort of simplified it for me the understanding that I have to the with this card, which is particularly challenging for me. Anyway, because I'm a doer, I like to do things and just jump into action. And this card asks you to sort of step back and just um, observe, meditate, reflect, and sort of think in a different perspective, in a different way. So for me, that is hard. So I think that's why I had a hard time with this card. So anyway, let's look a little bit about of the guidebook and what he says and so sacrifice and letting go can okay can you see it all right right there many people talk about the art of letting go but what does it really mean how do you achieve it the hanging man has all the answers he is the master of known attachment these cars implies there is a sacrifice, a difficult or painful situation coming up in your life. Though you naturally want to resist a struggle through it, be more like the hanging man. Find the stillness, open your eyes, and use this new perspective to learn something. You're stuck here either way. So in other words, this card talks about a time in your life that you have to. And in other words, the situation has make you um, uh, be stuck. So you have to, even if you don't want to, you have to really look at that situation and say, well, what happened here? Why that I'm here, right? So what happened is that you have to. You're in a position that you have to see in a different way. And so in this picture, you know, we see the path. And we see he's upside down, and and in the right way. In the must of the must of decks, you will see the person upside down, hang it right. To me, that symbolizes that situation, that place where you have to, or you know, you're willing to see a situation in a different way, reverse your your perspective, and that's sort of the only way that you're gonna get unstuck. You know what I mean? That you'll be able to see the solutions. You won't see them in, if you remain in the same mental space. You have to reverse. And so for me, this car, although difficult, it is a precious moment where you are able to reverse mental negative patterns and you are you have to or you're willingly uh, start switching and uh, you know changing that uh, thinking process so it allows you then to see you know the good things in life to see things differently to see the other person point of view you see what I'm saying so it gets you thinking and then you end up uh, feeling differently as a result so for me this is a great beautiful card just because he allows you to have the, this process of understanding evolution transformation transmutation so this is a powerful beautiful card now if you look at the animal the bat he sees in the night they say that they have a great sort of specific way of seeing through darkness so for me is you are in a difficult position 
we can say that you can see, that you force yourself, you allow yourself to be in a sort of still position and start reversing your views, and then you start seeing through darkness. So just that connection of the animal and the way he lives and the way he, and look at his eyes. He's able to see through darkness. And in other words, through appearance and the midst of your pain in a difficult time, you're able to look a side of, of the pain and a side of the difficult time and look for the answers and look for, you know, the solution or change your point of view, which is, I think this card really means a different perspective, a different point of view. Change those mental, uh, the mental space that you are at the present moment. So that's why I really, really like this part, this, this card and, and you know, it invites me in my shadow work. It, it, if I look at this car, it invites me to look at the area that I really need to work on, that area of my life that is difficult, that area of my life that is challenging, and see how can I rever reverse my point of view? How can I allow myself to see things in a different way? How can I allow myself to put myself in other people's positions and circumstances? And how that I allow myself, or how that I allow myself, in my case, to forgive myself, to accept myself to treat myself with more love and respect and not to not be so hard on myself and not to you know not to expect that uh you know those the perfection you know to accept that I'm not perfect and to allow myself to love my imperfections you know like the sun say you know beautiful a concept but I think this card really invites you to see yourself in a different way and for that see others that way too so this is the hanging man and beautiful card beautiful message and if you get it in your reading Allow yourself to have this moment of reflection and stillment and change and reverse. And so, thank you for watching. Bye.